guys. Uh, happy Friday night. Super, super excited about our uh, quick little five minute or six minute video here. We are, well, uh, Corey is not performing his original. <laughs> go ahead. Do you want to give the. No, go ahead. <laughs> he is not performing his original Crocodile Dundee wilderness post that uh, we were anticipating. It but, was gonna, I mean, it's going to rain. It it's it's rain. kind of yucky outside, and so it just didn't really work out. But, I mean, look at this massive beard. He's basically performing. Crikey, just, mate. Just in our bedroom. <laughs> so, welcome to our fun, super exciting house. Because yes. this is where we're at, and this is where we've been, <laughs> and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So, today we just thought we would get on here and have some light fun together yeah um because well Corey is really pretty funny and i'm not really but i do like to laugh at his jokes so i hope that you guys uh find some <laughs> laughter uh in this video if not today maybe tomorrow you listen and you enjoy it or maybe in a week you listen and enjoy it but whenever you get this we are just hoping that you find joy and laughter today all right, so go ahead. Babe. Okay, so I might, I'm not really funny. I might be funny looking sometimes, <laughs> um, especially this haircut. But uh, <laughs> um, I was going to say thank you for helping me out with this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if we can make her laugh. Okay. Um, so a Sunday school teacher asked the children just before uh, she dismissed them to church. And uh, she said, why is it necessary to go to church quietly? And uh, <laughs> Annie replied, because people are sleeping. Oh, <laughs> and that's a pretty good one, but good one. I'd like to think that that's not the case in our church, no. right? I mean, <laughs> people aren't sleeping. hopefully that's not the case, and hopefully that's not the case on Wednesday <laughs> night. So hopefully we are all, you know. I got a better one for you. Okay, okay. Okay, what time of day was Adam created? Mm, that's a good one. Just a little before Eve. Uh, Great, that's a good one. Uh, who was the fa uh, who was the fastest racer in the race? Mm, I don't know. Adam, he was the first in humankind. Uh, uh, <laughs> slap. Oh, it's a slap. human race. No, okay, okay. 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 I was like, why, why didn't they play cards on the ark? Why? Because Noah was always <laughs> standing on the deck. <laughs> That's very good. That's a bow joke. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> um, did Eve ever have a date with Adam? Huh. Nope. Just an apple. It's <laughs> pretty I good. I don't know. Pretty good, babe. <laughs> um, uh, how about... <laughs> why didn't Noah ever go fishing? Because he had his own boat. No... He only had two worms. <laughs> See, he's laughing at his own jokes, guys. This is usually how this goes. He laughs at his own jokes, and I just, like, kind of sit and look at him. But everyone else in the room usually thinks it's hilarious. So this is kind of normal. Um, let's hear a funny one. Okay, this is the best one I got. Okay. Why couldn't Jonah trust the ocean? Because he lived in a whale. Nope. Uh, he just knew that there was something fishy about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, this is a better one, okay? okay I know wait, that. wait, I think I think number 12 looks pretty good. No, you can't read my No, No, don't read my jokes. Okay, okay. What kind of car does Jesus typically drive? A Chrysler. Oh, he got it. It was ah! Chrysler. <laughs> I didn't read that. In all fairness, I actually got that one. It's pretty good. I five for that one. Yep. <laughs> I deserve that one. Mm -hmm. uh, the good Lord didn't create anything uh, without a purpose. Mosquitoes come close, though. Uh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead. You read number 12. Okay, okay. What kind of man was Boaz before he married Ruth? What? Absolutely ruthless. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was a good one. That, was and a good one. that one was for you. Uh, 
Miss Christina Carter and Ashley. I mean, we basically just read over Ruth in our small group. So, I love that one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, pick another one. Um, what excuse did Adam give his children about why we no longer lived in, why he no longer lived in Eden? Mm -hmm. I need some backstory, but go ahead. Your mother ate us out of house and home. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that kind of sounds like our kids, right? Uh, yeah, just a little. I mean, basically. And to all the parents out there, sorry. All the nice, yummy restaurants are closed. <laughs> so, it's time to make all the food. Alright, so who was the first tennis player in the Bible? Joseph. Go ahead. Because he served in the Pharaoh's court. Uh. <laughs> she can read. I can read. And yeah. That was a pretty good one, though. Mm, no? Okay, maybe. All right, you go. Um, I'm not... I didn't read any of those. Guys. Okay. What do we have that Adam never had? A car. This is a tricky one. Uh, moped. What? Ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys, uh, I just took a look at the time, and we are already over, so um, I'm super sorry, but maybe we can just give, like, one more joke. Let's make it a really good one. You go ahead. Do you have one? Um, what did Adam say the day before Christmas? What did he say? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Uh, we hope you have a super awesome weekend, and we cannot wait until normalcy. Yeah, or a haircut. Yeah, yeah, Corey. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but he's been wearing hats for, like, the last I don't know how many videos. I cut Jacob's hair, so we're living life on the edge over here. Yeah. He won't let me cut his hair, but mm, that's not a joke, guys, that I'm actually... Like, you would laugh at it, though. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm pretty good. I was pretty good. I cut Jacob's hair pretty good. Anyways. That's good. But yes, so we hope you have a super awesome weekend and we cannot wait until we can hug you and see you guys and face laugh. to face and laugh with this guy. So I, yeah, I guess that's